Hello, all my Russ's Reviews viewers. Today, you get to see my ugly face. That's right, I don't mind. I hope you don't either. <laughs> but today, we're actually going to be reviewing a place called Precision Auto Tune. I know I usually do videos and video games on my channel to give you guys some entertainment, but today, I'm going to give you some education. As I'm sure we've all known, there are places out there that actually are crappy mechanics. You'll take a car in to get one thing done and they'll come back and give you a diagnosis for 10 other things that's wrong with your car. And you know for a fact that there is nothing wrong with your car, except for what you went there to do in the first place. Well, today, I had that experience. I went into Precision Auto Tune to get an oil change, just like I did 5,000 miles ago. I use full synthetic in my car because it gives you uh, more of a mileage than the conventional uh, oil does. And it's a lot more lubricant for your your engine to keep it better in better shape, right? Well, 5,000 miles ago, I went in for an oil change and they just did that. They gave me a straight up oil change. Nothing else came back or anything like that. Well, today when I want to get my oil change in, what they did is they I saw them pull my car in, they put it up on the rack, and the first thing they want to go do is check my back brakes. I'll get into that in a minute because that's just one of the many issues that they said was wrong with my car. So, like I said, I went there just for a straight up oil change. They charged me for five quarts of oil, even though my car only takes four. So if I'm getting charged for five quarts of oil, I would actually like the last quart of oil to put in the back of my car so I have it for later use. In case I might need it. You never know. But that's that's besides the point. My point is the fact that I take my car in there for an oil change and within about 45 minutes they came back to me and they told me that I have multiple issues with my car. First being that I have a coolant leak. The second is that I have a transmission leak. Third is is that their lead foot mechanic pushed my brake pedal all the way to the floor just to start to say that either I have bad brakes or I need my brake my brake lines bled. Well, I happen to know for a fact that I only paid for an oil change because that's all I got. That's all I wanted from this place because I don't, I don't know that much about this place. I don't really trust them that much with my car. And while I was in there, I saw them come up to another guy that only needed a minor repair to a part of his car. And they came back with a big old long line of lists of problems with his car as well. But let's get into these issues that they say I have. Okay, the first issue they say I have is I have a coolant leak. As we all know, the coolant goes from your radiator into your engine to help keep it cool. And it also is a helps prevent your engine from having interior rust. Well, I had a coolant leak, not coolant leak, sorry, a coolant flush done no less than two weeks ago and i didn't see any problems i had my the person who did to me said didn't see any problems with my car either there's no leaks nothing like that so if the mechanic who put did the um coolant flush on my car in the first place doesn't find any cool leaks because there isn't any that tells you about precision auto tune not being completely honest problem number two they said i had a transmission leak okay I have an automatic transmission which means unless someone busted my transmission open there shouldn't be any leaks because the gaskets shouldn't be worn that bad because they were never taken apart from other parts of the car and speaking of the transmission the transmission is basically located up by my engine since my car is front-wheel drive only there is no transmission line leading back to the back of my car where my back tires are because of the drum brakes. I don't have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive where I actually need a line going back to regulate the back tires as well. I just have front-wheel drive. So I don't, I, and I know for a fact I don't have a transmission leak because I will see the transmission fluid dripping on the concrete as I'm parked. And I do not see this. And he's trying to tell me that what you need to do is you need to go to a car wash or give you an undercarriage wash and clean it up very good so you can find these two leaks. Well, why should I find two leaks that aren't there unless they caused them? 
that's my that's my issue with trying to lose the place because they might have caused these leaks just to have me pay up a lot of money to have them fix them. My third issue, so we covered transmission, we covered the uh, uh, coolant, is now the brake lines and my shoe, my brake shoes for my drum brakes. They told me that their mechanic, like I said, they he floored my brake pedal all the way down to the floor just to stop my car. And I know for a fact that that is not even possible because I barely apply my brakes and they work. I have never been in an accident to date, and I plan to keep it that way. I mean, yeah, I know there's other drivers out there that can cause problems, but I know for a fact my brakes are good. Because about two and a half months ago, I had my front brake pads and my rear brake shoes completely replaced. And in the process of replacing them, I also had a rear wheel cylinder replaced as part of the braking system. At least it was bad. And at the same time that I was getting done, my brakes were also being bled as well. These ones I got done, they bled my brakes to make sure there's no air in the, bu- in the lines to make it so my brakes would fail. And when I put my foot on the brake pedal, it goes about halfway down. I, I, I barely even touched the top of my foot because I tested it. I set my foot under my brake and pushed down, and I barely, tu- I barely touched the top of my foot. And my brakes were ripping onto my back tires and my front rotors. So I know Precision Auto Tune is lying about that. They also tried to charge me for a air filter. Well, in the process of them failing on that attempt, they brought my the old air filter for my car in with me. And even they admitted that, look, it's not doesn't look that bad, but it'd be a good idea to get it replaced because you might not, because you're probably have to get it replaced within about another 15,000 miles anyways, which is another three more tri- oil changes. And I agreed with them in another 15,000 minutes I will get my, fil- my, my air filter changed or before, depending on how bad it looks, because I do know how to change my own air filter. I also know how to change my own oil and oil filter as well. I know how to top, I know how to top off my power, my power steering, my automatic transmission, all that shit. I know how to change all my fluids. And I don't change my own fluids. Because I don't have the space to do it in, but I know how to do it. Um, so I know there's nothing wrong with my transmission, my coolant, my brake fluid, or my brakes themselves. So why Precision Auto Tune would actually say, "Hey, let's try to charge him all this extra money for stuff he don't need done" is beyond me. So if you guys go to Precision Auto Tune and they want to, and you just want to get their front oil change, and they say, "Oh yeah, you need this, 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 and this done." Go to your mechanic and see how true it is. Because I guarantee you, one of them's lying. And I bet you it's precision auto-tune. But until next time on Russ's Reviews, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I might just bring you, I'll probably bring you a movie or a video game or something that'll give you some entertainment. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful day.